I'm Kevin from Russo Power Equipment, and today I'm going to show you how to remove the clutch cover from your chainsaw. Before performing any maintenance on your chainsaw, be sure to wear the proper safety gear and check your owner's manual for additional instructions. The tool that you will need to remove the clutch cover on your chainsaw is the one that came with your chainsaw as seen here or a socket of the appropriate size and a flathead screwdriver. I'll be using this tool to adjust the chain tension on this screw here and loosen the nuts on the cover here. Begin by using the flathead screwdriver to loosen the tension on the chain. Before you can remove the clutch cover, it is very important to disengage the chain brake, which is located near the handle of the chainsaw here. Do this by pulling this handle back. To ensure that your chain brake is disengaged, try moving the chain on the bar. As you can see, it moves freely, so the chain brake is disengaged. If you remove the cover while the chain brake is engaged, you won't be able to put it back onto the chainsaw. This is because the chain brake band decreases in size and will not fit back around the clutch. The chain brake has to be disengaged on the cover before it can be placed back onto the chainsaw. To remove the clutch cover, use the socket or tool that came with your chainsaw and loosen the nuts on the cover. The chainsaw consists of the chain brake handle and the clutch, while the chainsaw clutch cover consists of the chain brake band and the chain tenter. Here's a quick way to disengage the chain brake while the clutch cover is off of the chainsaw. So as you can see here, the chainsaw brake band is actually engaged. All we're going to do is line this back up into the handle here and pull the handle back. So we're just going to take this, move the handle forward a little bit, place that cover back on, pull it back, and it is now disengaged and it's ready to go back onto the chainsaw. To place the cover back onto the chainsaw, simply line up the holes here and make sure that the chain tensioner goes back into the hole onto the bar. This may take some adjusting. Once that's on properly, tighten the nuts back on finger tight. Before tightening the nuts onto the cover all the way, Use that same flathead screwdriver to tighten the chain. Once you feel it's at the proper tension, you can fully tighten the nuts. So just make sure that the chain moves freely on the bar, and you can go ahead and engage the chain brake so that it's ready for use. Thanks for watching. If you have any video suggestions or questions, feel free to leave one in the comment section below, and like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash power.